Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. You must know, Nigerians need to know that there is an attempt to capture INEC ahead of 2023 election. Samson Itodo explained that since the new electoral act, which Buhari made a mistake to sign, is going to hinder a lot of, it's going to hinder and going to prevent the way they would have wanted to rig the election. They are looking for every way, humanly speaking, possible to ensure that they get a loophole into that very area and vicinity. And so what is one of those areas? In case you are not aware, Buhari has forwarded names of APC members to be INEC officials. And what does that tell you, my dear thinker? Me and you, my picking and your picking gets a, a, gets a competition. I'll leave my picking because they support your picking. It makes sense. The answer is no. So there is no way APC will see any other party won when they are the ones to decide or to, to say the results. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Nigerians need to know that there is an attempt to capture INEC ahead of 2023 elections. Samson Itodo reveals. Executive Director of YIAGA African Samson Itodo has disclosed that there is an attempt to capture the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, ahead of the 2023 general elections. Samson Itodo disclosed that the recent appointment of INEC commissioners by the President, Muhammad Buhari, may be a pointer to the fact that there is an attempt to capture the Independent National Electoral Commission ahead of the 2023 general election. You will recall that on July 20. In July 2022, the Senate President Hamed Lawa announced the new appointees that could emerge as INEC resident electoral commissioners ahead of 2023 general elections. The nominees have since generated several reactions among Nigerians, as many civil society organizations in the country have seen that most of the people there are APC members. According to Samson Itodo, the new appointees have peasant tendencies and should be and should not be allowed into such position as they will affect the general outcome of the 2023 election. They can't be APC members and they are deciding the result between APC and any other party. Samson he told to believe that the Senate has a major part to play to ensure that the right thing is done. But for Nigerians' knowledge, there is something seriously going on. That Buhari's government is about to circumvent the people's choice for their own gain. Okay, yeah, but that's what they're about to do. Okay, that's what they're about to do. So people be aware. So whether you like it or not, Buhari has a plan already orchestrated against the nation. The plan is already all set. So there is something seriously and really truly not right going on. Yes. There is something sincerely not right. So whether you like it or not, we need to find ourselves in this country because the people we call leaders are doing things, okay, that will, that will, that will bar this nation from anything called progress. That's what they are doing, okay? These people want to remain there. They want to remain there. No matter what happened, they want to remain there. And so Nigerians must begin to consider the fact that you know, these people do not want good for the nation. And so all hands on deck. Buhari has gone to appoint INEC officials who are his brothers and who are his sisters. How can my brother appoint me to a position? Then they will call the result. I will not say he did not win. Excuse me. Can you think about it exactly? The people that should be INEC officials should not be in any political party. So there is no conflict of interest. So nobody is trying to, you know, give a result because of biases. Okay, one good thing they say deserves another. What who am I that you appointed me to this position? I mean, to serve? Oh, what an honor, what a privilege. And before you could say Jack Robinson, that person will take it from length to length here. And we ensure that, you know, he, he, he you know, he gives he gives position. Even if it's against the truth, they don't mind. So these are some of the things going on and why every one of us must begin to 
get involved and ensure that truth is being dispensed. So my wonderful people, these are some of the things that are happening. Buhari's administration is taking, it feels that Nigerians, eh, you know, they don't have any form of knowledge or, 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 or understanding. And so they can do whatever they want to do and get away with it. Sadly, it's not going to happen anymore. Okay, not anymore. You were doing it before, you were getting away with it, but those things are going to change and are going to change quite quickly and quite drastically. Yes, because Nigerians, we are stronger, we are better, we know where we are headed, and nobody is ready to you know, allow those people to continue on their plight the way they've been doing. The time to make a difference is now. Yes, so these are some of the things going on and why every one of us must rise up to the occasion. Okay, every one of us must rise up to the occasion. Remember, you have a voice. Remember that every one of us must arise for what is right. Every one of us must do our best in terms of ensuring that the right things are done. Okay, so this is this should be one of the last things that we should ever okay, allow to be going on in a country like this. So that at the end of the day, we are better people. Yes, this is it. This is it. Anyway, my wonderful people, what do you think? With the occurrence and everything that is going on now, you should know that there is serious call for concern. And when we when we allow okay, certain individuals to continue in their track, you'll be surprised some of the things that may follow. Okay, some of certain individuals who have no clear iota of concern for the nation, you'll be surprised some of the things that may follow. And so the time to arise and to ensure that truth is being displayed is now. Okay? Truth is being displayed is now. Okay? So it is what it is what it is. Remember that every one of us must speak out against everything and anything that could possibly not move us forward as a nation. Yes? It is what it is. The days for us to exp expansiate on what the truth should be is now. Those days are now. He's here with us. Yes? So this is what it is, my people. These people want to take advantage of the country called Nigeria in order for them to have, you know, to, to have a harvest out of where they did not sow anything. Nothing has been put on the ground, but they want to have a harvest out of it. Now it's time, obviously, for everyone to arise, okay, from what is currently going on. Don't forget that we must contribute meaningfully. God bless. Bye for now.